Welcome to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm Chris, and in today's video, we're tackling a common PDF challenge, removing fillable fields. Whether for finalizing documents or ensuring privacy, let's dive into why and how you can achieve this. Fillable fields are great for gathering data, yet sometimes a non-editable document is essential. In situations like legal contracts or purchase orders, a fixed format is critical to prevent unauthorized changes and preserve document integrity. Take this order form I've already filled out and need to send to the recipient. Before sending it, I need to remove these fillable fields to protect sensitive information and ensure uniform accessibility across various platforms. To achieve this, I will show you three ways to remove fillable fields. The first is to delete them directly. The second is to use the print method. And the third is to flatten the forms. Let's talk about the first method. Delete the fields directly. Open the file in PDF element, choose the form tab and select the blank fields to delete them. However, this method only works for blank spaces. If you delete the filled fields, the data will also be deleted. Using the printing method can address this problem. Continuously check the previous form and navigate to the print button. In the pop-up panel, select Microsoft Print to PDF from the printer drop-down list. Print it to save as new file and this new version of the PDF will not contain the fillable fields. Lastly, the flattening method. This merges all layers into one, making your fields permanently non-editable. To do this, open the file in PDF element and go to the Tools tab, where you'll find a flatten option. This feature allows you to merge comments and fillable fields into the file's content layer. Once you confirm flattening, a flattened file will automatically pop up in which all fields are merged into the file and become uneditable. And that's how you remove fillable files from your PDFs. Whether for security, simplicity, or finalization, these methods have you covered. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. And if it was helpful, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. I will continue bringing you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work a lot easier. Also, make sure you take a look at the rest of the videos on the channel where you'll find lots of other tutorial videos just like this one. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.